subcontract is do you have both? How do you keep the culture going between the employees and how also do you keep it with the subcontractors? We've talked in the past about the employees. Let's dig down into the subcontractor model. I'm Ron Rams. I'm a DYB coach, also painting contractor here in New England. Subcontractors, they come in, we have a subcontractor agreement with them, um, basically everything, all the rules to follow, as well as their percentages. But other than that, them finishing a job and making sure they get paid on time, how else do you build the culture with them? So we have a very uh, robust process we use with our own employees, but really nothing's been touched on with the subcontractors. And when you have both, it could be almost, they don't mesh. But let's get them to mesh. So I hope you can pull one of these ideas, maybe one of these works, maybe all of them work, maybe a piece of any of them will work for you. First of all, what I like to do is, if you're ever having a company party, company get together, and I highly recommend you do this, at least on a quarterly basis. So what do we do? Well, fishing, deep sea fishing, if you're near the ocean, uh, go-kart riding, bowling, just a cookout. You know, maybe it's a family fun day at the local amusement park, something like that. But we invite our employees, we invite their families, invite the subcontractors. These guys are making you money. They represent your company. So when we do this, we bring them together. The first time, the second time, it might be a little standoffish, and maybe a lot of them will not come, but some will. And the employees will get to know them. And before you know it, word will spread, and they'll all be showing up, and they'll be looking forward to this. And this is part of company culture. You're building it. It doesn't happen overnight. Secondly, what I like to do is not only we give them our T-shirts to wear and our sweatshirts to wear, go out and buy them really nice jackets. Not only buy your employees the nice jackets, buy the subcontractors the nice jackets. With your, you know, maybe their name on the sleeve, uh, your logo on the chest. You know, they'll appreciate it. Don't ask anything from them. Even if they're not working for you that month, maybe they've worked with you the last three months and you have some jobs for them coming up, give them the jacket. Call them, bring them into the office, give them that jacket. That is going to mean something to them. Also, bonuses. And this is where it gets tricky because... We've, we've mentioned in the past how we bonus our employees, and I'll go over this real quick, is that every job is assigned a number of hours. If it's a $1,000 job, maybe it's, it's, it's 20 hours. So if the employee finishes it in 16 hours, we put four hours towards the bonus pool. Uh, not at the full bill rate, at a certain uh, another bill rate. You can watch the video on that. We've had a couple of them. So how do we bonus, and that's paid out quarterly, by the, by the way, for the employees, uh, how do we bonus a subcontractor? It gets tough because the subcontractor actually works on a percentage. So if it's a $10,000 job, they already know going into it what their walk away is. So what they're going to take off there, depending on the, the materials, that's a different story. But they know what their percentage is. So how do we bonus this? Well, this is, a, this is a way that might work for you, is uh, we don't do monthly bonuses. There's too many outside factors in a monthly bonus, uh, especially if you're an exterior painter. It's a weather, uh, materials not being on the job site, specialty materials not being, uh, contractor not being ready for us, or it's half ready for us, or, or they say it's ready for us and the crew gets on the job site and it's honestly not ready for it, ready for us. Uh, and that's probably happened to you in the past. So also do that a quarterly bonus. Um, and what, I, what, what works for us is uh, they not only have a survey where, the, where they have to get so many stars or get so much check marks from the uh, homeowner or whoever they're working for to make sure that they're, they're working what they're supposed to be doing and following our uh, direction, is if they're a $20,000 a month subcontractor for you. So in the course of three months, generally they're going to average about 60000 but what we want to do is we want to push that 60000 higher so they can finish more work. So we're not going to give them a higher percentage. What we'll do is we're going to give them a bonus at the end of the quarter to reach to a new level. So if they're giving, they're doing $20,000 a month for us on a quarter, it's three months, is $60,000. We want them to hit $75,000 and a good rating on their surveys. So what we're going to do is if you hit $75,000, your first idea is to give them cash. Well, that's all well and good, but that extra $15,000, if we're giving them cash, we're really hitting hot our, our percentage and it trickles down into our net profit. So what I like to do is either give them a $2,000 gift card to the local paint store, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you buy ladders and paint or supplies, or 
a beautiful sprayer, a $2,500 paint sprayer. Maybe it's an Egrego Air Assist or the Titan Model or something like that. Something that they're not going to go out on their own and buy. Maybe it's a dream thing that they would like to have. You go out and you follow through with something like this. You're not only going to build culture, they're going to trust you and they're going to want to work for you for a long, long time. Anyways, if you have any ideas how you build culture, or if you'd like to share them with us, please comment below. I'd love to hear them so I can, I can share them with other uh, contractors. Uh, we're all in this together. Uh, I'm Ron Rams. I'm a DYB coach, also painting contractor. If you'd like to reach out to me, it's dybcoach.com. Also, you can find me on Facebook. Send me a message. We can chat via that way, or we can actually grab the phone and, and talk that way. Well, anyways, uh, keep busy, keep profitable, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.